hey friend welcome to my channel my name is deepak patil and let's continue our new course symphony 7 course so in this course we will learn about the symphony 7 fundamental so today we are going to start with the new uh, first chapter so let's let's cover this first chapter so the today's topic is introduction to symphony 7 so first of all let's understand what is the symphony so each programming language having their own framework so php having number of framework lots of framework like uh, symphony yii laravel zen framework take php falcon so there are so many frameworks available in the uh, php so symphony is a basically php framework that provide the mvc feature to the uh, that provide the mvc feature so what is mvc mvc is a model view controller so what is why lots of companies crazy about symphony why they are prefer to use symphony for the large scale project so the first very first reason is symphony has a reusable set of php component so they have a library they have a uh, lots of component develop and we can use that component based on the our requirement then yeah we already discussed uh, mvc architecture provided i mean symphony support the mvc architecture so model view controller so that is the uh, popular architecture to develop the web application then yes symphony we can say that full, full stack framework to develop the web application as well as we can also develop the microservices for example i i, I have i want to just create the api services so we don't need to include all the component those are related to the web so we can only include the component that that where we can just create the microservices that is api so the, this is the quick about the symphony so symphony provide some uh, feature for example controller entity so this is the database related thing doctrine and using doctrine and entity and repository we can deal with the database then symphony provide us a routes so routes we can easily navigate with the number of url by creating the number of routes so these are the basic feature that symphony has now before start our course we have to understand the basic coding standard so which coding standard followed by the symphony so it's simple it's a psr 1 2 4 and 12 so let's let's just overlook what are those standards so these are the basic standard for example php uh, this is the start that we must use in the php file then um, uh, it should be utf8 file should be utf8 then namespace yes namespace should be follow the psr0 coding standard then class name must be uh, declared in the uh, stanley case we will uh, prefer this so it's, it's 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 same like camel case but first character also should be capital then constant must be declared in upper case and separated by the underscore that is the common coding practice method name variable name that 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 should be in the camel case so if more than one keyword then those uh, should be capital first letter is a non these are the basic thing that we will going to follow uh, during our course so i already mentioned this url in this uh, 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 analysis to you can also you will also get having access with our my repository it's a public so you can just overview once so these are the just basic basic thing like abstract final static uh, that we have to use the property uh, be, uh, if we have to create the abstract class and those things so these are the just basic yes class name should be a, a stanley class uh, convention and the file name of this class should be foo.php we start with the php the function name should be the camel case the variable name should be also camel case these are the basic uh, coding convention that we will follow so it's just matter of spend some time with this code and you will automatically understand what this standard is. later we don't need to remember automatically we create code something like that okay so these are the some basic uh, yeah, later they introduce the variable like boolean, integer, all these things. Okay, so these are the basic. So what are the outcome of that? This is the basic rule that we will follow. If there is the operator, for example, I want to use the plus operator, 
so there should be a space before plus and after plus if i want to use the equal then there should be space before and after so this way we can make code clean this is very simple um, rule that we are going to follow yes last name should be camel case uh, first sternly case first first character is capital if more than one uh, 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 more than one word then that we should be uh, separate by the capital so in this example product item in this example p is a capital and i is a capital then when we create the class with the product item same name we have to uh, give to the file with the php extension this is the simple rule that we will follow the variable name should be camel case with the first character always should be small for example product p is a small so in the php we use the dollar so that something like that this dollar or function name should be same like a camel case yeah see the next rule is that so function name should be same as a camel case okay so in this example add product add product item first name is capital but when we have more world the first letter should be capital so these are the basic rule that we are going to follow okay so this is the symphony it is reusable components uh, it's follow the mvc architecture uh, it's capable to handle the large number of projects because the standard are very simple we have a good community we have a good help available we have a good uh, uh, um, they have a good uh, version release system so they already manage the stable version and then development version thing like that so let's talk about the requirement if you want to uh, install the symphony 7 framework and you, you want to start your project in the symphony 7 so the minimum requirement should be at least you should have a php 8.2 and these are the basic uh, extension that should be always uh, you have to take care to install okay so if you use the linux then it's very easy command to use the apt get install php 8.2 dash c type so you, you, that extension will be automatically installed for example apt install php 8.2 dash c type uh, for example okay so xml see this is the xml if i try to install it's already there okay we have a log let's open that so, yeah so, so it is how it is simple yeah that's simple uh, if you if you are uh, using the window then we have a, a separate uh, uh, steps to follow to install the window you have to copy the dll file and then we have to enable the that dll file in the extension file then second this is very very important uh, this is very very important uh, uh, tool symphony and symphony uh, i mean composer and symphony cli symphony cli they develop this latter but composer i i'm uh, quite comfortable and flexible with the composer so you have to install the composer so it's basic steps that you have to follow it's very simple to install the composer uh, they have given all the steps to install that so you have to copy this file then run this then whatever the composer dot setup far file install use that okay and then unlink and then you can use the composer dot far file but i suggest to you uh, install the composer as a global command you have to add that in a class path so it's very simple and i think there should be also uh, this is if you want to create a sh file and install that so this is how we can install that composer okay you can also install that for a number of versions by manual downloading it so this is also you can uh, search like a uh, composer on window
So this is then just follow the steps. Just follow the steps. Same on Ubuntu. Whatever the Ubuntu version you have. Install that as a global command so that will be at a you don't need to file the far file. Yeah. So to just download that by C URL hash make it high. The command that you have to <coughs> move that file into the same and then set up. Once you do that, just move that in the local user local. So you can directly use the user. So let's so I have that already installed. So when I enter the composer, all the composer information I can see on my console. So why we use composer? Because composer tool we use this to create a project, to install the any dependency, to update any dependency. Uh, these are the basic tasks of the composer that we use. So next is uh, okay. So before start actual development, we have to first understand what kind of commands we have to use. So normally, see this is the clear command that I use. So this is the basic clear command. Then cd. Then uh, I have already created the uh, example cd symphony. I already create the project and ls command composer then we have to also understand the basic git command like a page so git h minus ap so you have to use such command first of all cd ls that is the basic console command uh, uh, you need to use composer in the composer uh, we normally use to install the dependency to update the dependency to create the project lots of time i prefer when i update or deploy some changes i use the install command so that will be also a check uh, if there is any dependency updated or also clear the uh, cache and those things then git you have to just use these three command that is enough for now fetch pull push commit if you use ui then this is how we can uh, this is how we can use the git ui so I, I can just add that file slash stash and then put my command and then push so this is how very simple is okay so uh, let's do the quick conclusion symphony is a mvc framework it's it has their reusable components Symphony web application provide the MVC architecture. Symphony is a full stack framework. There are large kind of community available for use. There are large kind of help available for the Symphony. Symphony can use for the web application, large web application as well as the microservices. You have to just follow the basic standard PHP coding convention. Requirement is PHP 8.2 plus version 8.3 whatever you have latest then the, these are the basic uh, extension that you have to install composer or symphony CLR uh, anyone you have to install from both and we have to use the basic command so in the next video we are creating the our first symphony project and uh, if you want my next video for to, to learn the basic symphony 7 then please subscribe my channel by click on the bell icon thank you Let's discuss with the new chapter in the next video.